The fourth round of negotiations between Russian and Ukrainian delegations continued into Wednesday. Russian presidential aide Vladimir Medinsky, also the head of the Russian delegation, said that the talks made difficult and slow progress, but the Russian side hopes to achieve peace as soon as possible through negotiations. The two sides are discussing Ukraine's neutral status, the demilitarization of the country and a range of issues related to the size of its military. In a speech delivered via video conference to the U.S. Congress on Wednesday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky asked the United States to do more to help Ukraine defend itself against the ongoing military operation by Russia. He also asked the United States to champion the establishment of a no-fly zone over Ukraine, or, alternatively, to provide fighter jets to his country, requests that have both been rejected by the U.S. administration thus far. We mainly discussed the developments in Ukraine and Russia, as well as our bilateral relations. As two NATO allies, we had a detailed exchange of views. In this process, we will continue our consultation and cooperation with Poland. Russia considers Russian interests, Ukraine does the same with Ukraine's interests. Neither the United States nor Brussels would think with a Hungarian head and feel with a Hungarian heart. Our own interests have to be represented by us, calmly and bravely. My friends, our interest is not to become a pawn sacrifice in somebody else's war. <laughs>